you all right everyone it's ace here from romany custom catapult so a little bit of a different video i'm going to show you all on this particular build uh, it doesn't really matter which build i show you but this is the build that i've just finished so this is the build that i'm going to show you this on uh this is in regards to the sandwich site band attachment that i use all clips to be shorter they're just standard clips uh well they're not standard they're fully custom on my builds but uh yeah, I'm going to show you how I do them. So, and I'll show you the logic behind them. So, we're going to take this clip off. Now, these bolts are M3 cap head bolts. We've got aluminium bolt cups, and I put washers underneath because the aluminium cup pulls into the hole and it eventually fucks the cup up. So, with a washer, it adds strength. So, that is why we put those washers on there. I mean, you could probably get black washers. I've never really looked, to be honest with you. They probably look a little bit better. The holes I drill are five millimeter and the rivnuts I put in are uh, M3 rivnut. These ones are countersunk. Now, the reason why I use countersunk rivnuts, I'll show you all here, is because they're a lot stronger. When you use a flathead rivnut, it pulls into the hole and the rivnut stretches. These are countersunk. I was using stainless steel ones, which are even stronger, but I think they're a little bit overkill and they're over double the price of these. These are 11 and a half mil. Uh, I was getting them in 12 and a half mil, but they've become extremely hard to get hold of. So it's just 11 and a half mil now. Now, the reason why I countersink is because I want the rivnut to come up through and in to the clip. Now, the reason being, as you can see, they protrude out. So it holds the clip in place. Look, perfect. So it's easy to align your clip up. If those aren't like that and they're like that, this slides around. So it's very hard to align the clip. Also, now we're going to put these bolts back in loosely just to show you. This might be helpful to people out there that's building frames or i don't know whether it's interesting to anyone really but it's something i felt i just want to talk about and how i do it so we loosen these off and we've got enough gap there to slide a band in when you slide the band in as you can see you can see the rivnuts so the band hits those rivnuts and that's when you know you've pushed it in further enough can you see that is your stopper for your band and that's about four and a half to five mil i normally aim for which doesn't seem a lot but it's more than enough because bear in mind your main point of grip is around two mil from the rivnut after that the clip is going off at an angle and you kind of lose grip so it wouldn't matter if that gap was 10 mil you just lose too much grip towards the end so as long as you've got that main grip down there you're fine i've never had an issue some people's use one mil bands on my clips and they've worked perfect uh yeah 99 percent of the time i've never had one pull out and I've used bands up to 0.8. I only use light bands now, but sometimes the thicker bands grip better because there's more elastic on them to really squeeze against. So you've got to look at that. But if you don't have your rivnuts like that, what happens if your rivnuts don't come into your clip, the gap that you've got is your bolt. Now, I don't know if you can see it in there, really. I'm going I'm to loosen it right out, just as an example. And this is where some builders might get it wrong. So if I can hold that rivnut like that, if you look in the gap now, it's not the rivnut you're seeing, it will be the bolt. So your band goes further down in and it hits the bolt. And then when you twist, what happens is it screws all your band up and it's no good. Now, what actually happens though sometimes, if I'm building a frame with a thick back, now this will make sense to you when I show you, here we have six mil, nine mil, 10, we have 11 mil. That's quite thick. Now bear in mind the rivnut's 11 and a half mil. So I've had to count a sink them in at a certain depth. That depth is fine. It's just enough for you to be able to put your thumb on there and tighten it in. If this piece here is a lot thicker, I've got to counter sink a lot further in, which you struggle to put your thumb on the rivnut. So what I do then is sand the faces down, which kind of puts a concave on the face, which looks really cool. Doesn't affect how the frame holds or anything. It just looks really cool. Uh, just to make sure that they don't go down too deep. If they're too deep in, you can't put your finger on to hold the rivnut. You can make it work, but it's just more complicated and it's difficult and it's time consuming. So we sand this down so these stay around about that depth. Now, some people ask me, what is the width that you do? Now, I normally do from centre hole 
to the outside six mil and then the gap between this center and this center is anything from 10 mil at the minimum up to 12 mil 10 mil would be on a 20 mil tip uh, and then i just build up uh, 12 mil would be on a 25 mil tip and then from the top we try and aim to get around about four and a half to five mil uh, ideally you want everything level but level side by side to match up to that side is aesthetically pleasing and you want it as good as you can get but it's not i it's not important the main important thing is the height here and here are the same so your bands fit nice and level as you can see um what was the next thing i was going to talk about with clips ah the size of the tip now you don't really get a one size fits all when it comes to clips not mine anyway now the standard size clip is 23 mil that's what i like to do 23 mil you can use bands up to 23 mil you can go over but the bands will come out either side it will pull over nicely but you're going to lose a bit of power so you don't really want to be going any bigger on a clip build like you can with wrap and tuck 23 mil if you can't get the power you need from a 23 mil cut based on the amount of different thickness elastics that is available then there's something wrong with you but some people like 25 mil it's down to them a 23 mil tip will go up to 23 mil and will comfortably go down to 20 mil if you're going to start shooting 18 mil you don't want to be going any higher than a 21 mil tip uh 25 mil tips you shoot 25 down to probably 22 and the reason being is because on a 25 mil tip your rib nuts have got a bit, lot bigger space between them. So if you put a 20 mil band on, you want it bang in the center of your tip to get the right amount of grip. If you put your band, a 20 mil band right over to this side and it comes out here, you're only getting grip off of one bolt. Does that make sense? It should do. You're only getting grip off of one bolt. Therefore, you're not getting the full grip of the two bolts, which you need. So depending, I always ask when I take an order, what size bands are you shooting? What What is your standard? Because there is no go-to one size. I mean, someone wants had 27 mil tips. Now, a 27 mil tip would be good for 24 upwards. You're not going to put a 20 mil band on a 27 mil clip because you're not, you're not going to get the traction. So I hope that makes sense for you. I hope that is me explaining the knowledge behind making clips. It's took me a while to get it right. I've nailed it now, so I know what I'm doing. But it's not as simple as just drilling two holes and making it work. There's a lot of factors to getting a clip just right. And I think I've nailed it. But that's why people pay me more money than most. Anyway, thanks for watching that video. I know it's a little bit of a long one, and I know it isn't for everyone. But for builders and whatnot, it might be of interest to you. Cheers all, and thanks for watching.